Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Coffee with Devin. Um, not that that really means anything. I'm just Devin. Um, I am your hostess for the week. I don't know what to call myself. I am welcome to our boot camp. This is kind of like a hopped up version of Homeschool 101. A lot of the um, a lot of the cities will have them this time of year where you'll have one day to go in and ask all the questions and they'll go over all the things. Homeschool boot camp is that, but we're going to have it more. We'll stretch it out over the week and take a little bit more time on each subject. But anyway, this is Coffee with Devin and um, just as, I don't know, this is just kind of like, I guess you could say your motivational speak for the day. Um, I've got some some point. Let's see, what are they called? Banners. And um, they, they call them banners, but they're really just points. So this morning I wanted to go over, let's see, what I wish I could tell myself if I could go back in time and meet pre-homeschooling Devin. Um, we have homeschooled over 15 years now. It began when my youngest was two. He was two, about two and a half. I had graduated from the university and I had just had a new baby. And when we looked at the price of preschools and daycares, um, it was just super, super expensive. You know, y'all are moms, y'all know. And it looked like I, I would have to work just for the kids to go to daycare. So after a lot of juggling, I had known, I had met homeschoolers. My mom homeschooled my sister um, in the 80, 80s. Yeah, in the 80s. That was my four-year-old. She decided to shut my door. Um, so um, I had known homeschoolers. So I decided I would homeschool preschool. So that is how it all started over 15 years ago. I decided I was going to homeschool preschool. And the closer I got to kindergarten, the um, more I didn't like the idea of sending him to kindergarten. I wanted to, I enjoyed teaching him. And I, I was not a teacher by trade. I, I mean, I went to university and graduated, but I don't have a teaching degree. But um, I have taught in, I've been a teacher's assistant before, way back in the day before I graduated and did stuff. But um, I don't have a teaching degree. But anyway, that's how we started. And here we are over 15 years later. My oldest will be 19 this month in Joel in July. And um, he graduated last year. And I don't know that I expected to get this far when I started. And that's what's so fun about homeschooling is you don't always, I mean, yeah, you get surprises. So anyway, if I could go back and talk to myself pre-homeschool days, early homeschool days, this is what I want. I wish I could tell myself. Okay. Deep breath and relax. Um, it is very, very easy to get very overwhelmed in the beginning. Now, over 15 years ago, there was not as many options. Not um, so there was a social media wasn't a thing. It wasn't as homeschooling was not as mainstream. Finding curriculum was not as easy. I just happened to stumble across a homeschool book in the library that gave curriculum suggestions. That's how I started in that day and age. I mean, you websites were really kind of a new thing. You know, there was no social media. I couldn't find groups and the groups I could find didn't want to let me join because we were not really homeschooling yet. I am a very much more lax person locally with my groups. I love when I meet preschool, preschool mamas because that's how I started. So anyway, if I could go back, I would say, relax. It's all good it will get to the point where it's not overwhelming. It's just like that. Anytime, you know, remember when you brought the baby home and everything was new and it felt overwhelming. It's the same way with homeschooling, regardless of how you're doing it. It gets better. So don't judge it off the now. Just relax. You're going to do great. Um, you don't have to have all the answers today. You're not. Um, and you know what? Even when you think you have all the answers, eventually something will happen and you'll think, Ooh, I don't know what to do. You know, like when um, my son started high school, that was a new step. I was nervous. We had homeschooled for over almost about what, 10 ish years. 
and I was nervous and that's okay. So you don't have to know all the answers today. You just have to be able to find the resources. Um, make a list, put everything you want to know this week in order, and then just tackle one thing at a time. You don't have to know, you know, like going back to number two, you don't have to know everything today. It's okay. Do one thing at a time. And this one needed a spell check. It's supposed to be it. I'm going to have to change that. I can't handle that, people. I can't handle that. Let's see. Let me find it. Uh, here. There. Well, okay. It really will be okay. I promise. Um, it will not stay overwhelming. It will not stay difficult. Now, when it comes to a time frame, you know, we'll talk about this week, but um, you give yourself a time frame. If it's, let's say it's a year later and it's still hard, then you've got to find some help. But I promise it really usually doesn't. We, you get your feet under you pretty quickly is what I hope with this. Um, let's see. I'm learning how to use this new banner. But um, overall, take a deep breath relax make your list make sure you found you know have your paper and your pencil today because you can write down your notes um and um i ask questions if y'all got questions i see you're watching i see you're there i mean i see you but um not that i see you see you know that would be creepy but anyway but overall my hope for this week is that i give you some tools to use to find the information you need and I help you begin to build your support system. Those two things will be helpful. And um, that's what we want for you. All the team that, you know, because I don't do this alone, all the team together, we really hope that, that we give you the tools you need to get where you need to go. But anyway, that is our morning coffee. And I actually do have coffee. This is um, my second cup because I'm not feeling awake today. I will see you at 12 for our first session today. We have, um, let's see, I don't know what I named them. Today is going to be basically all law. We will talk, even if you're doing public school at home, you'll find some benefit. It's always good to know um, in case you decide to change things up and, or you find that the public school at home is not working for you. Um, tomorrow we'll work. We'll talk about curriculum. Um, and some aspects of that, but today it's going to be basically law and I'm going to show you where to find your state laws, um, find, show you some things to think about and to keep on the back of your mind. And we'll go, we have two sessions, one at 12, one at two, a little bit different. They won't be the same. Uh, we will start there and then we're just going to dive in and hopefully it's not too painful. This afternoon, we have the homeschool Q&A. Um, you can jump in there. If you go to the units, you'll find um, you'll find this session already because it's, it's live and it's all tagged in there. You also, if you scroll down, you'll find the homeschool Q&A. You click the link, pick what time you want. You can jump on. We will have um, the homeschool Q&A. We have three, three sessions that you can pick from. Um, if we find that they're completely booked, I can add another one, but um, it probably won't be until tomorrow. I can't really um, change today up too much. I don't know. I'm still learning that calendar thing, but it makes it real easy. And then it's on Zoom so we can actually see each other face to face because, you know, asking questions, asking questions with a question, I can't hear the tone in your voice. And sometimes it's harder to see what someone wants. So when we're able to see each other, then I can answer better. You can understand me better. So it will just be a little helpful. I see I have a comment. I am excited too. I'm so excited. I mean, I, this is, I mean, just setting it up. I was real nervous, but it has turned out so much better. And I think it's so much better organized than if, we just threw it and everything was willy nilly, but the units is really the best place to start every morning. Look and see what's there. We got the schedule over there. We got all sorts of links over there. Um, I'll add more when we need them. Um, I did want to tell you that you can buy the lifetime access this week for $20. 
the lifetime access, the difference is you'll always be able to see it inside this group at the end of the week, it'll be gone. Well, not the end of this week on Wednesday, the 6th, 6th of July. Oh my God, I can't believe it's July. Um, it'll be gone. But instead of lifetime access, you'll have um, links to the video. My plan is to put this is based on a workbook that I wrote. And I, my plan is to put the workbook in there as soon as I get it formatted. It may not be in July. It may end up being August because July is super busy. I'm also going to put extra workshops that we've done through the year. Um, so we'll have extra workshops in there that have been in professional home educator. You can join the group professional home educator. You can find the, the um, workshops there already, but I will put, and even through the year, if I have something come up that I think really goes with the lifetime access, I will put it over there for anybody who bought it. Um, so I'll have extras in there. I'll have these workshop, these videos, and then I should put the book in there. So there'll be a lot of extras. If you decide, you know, you, this is only one week, you can get it for 20. It's going to be a hundred is what it's going to be priced at. Um, cause there'll be a lot of extras, but anyway, yes, I, I'm so thankful. I love, look, I love, fell in love with homeschooling when we, when we were doing preschool. I love it. I think everybody can do it now it may not always be for everybody but that doesn't mean you can't do it and i i have full belief in my mamas like people who know me personally know that i love mamas all mamas homeschool mamas non-homeschool mamas i'm a mama person y'all are awesome oh and i did do a, an encouragement thing with that will go out on text um that is something you can look at um so lots of stuff in there and I will see you at 12 because, um, <laughs> because I still have my house to run. Do y'all ever go? Are y'all doing that too? I mean, this, this is going to be a fun week. I actually told my team I have five. Okay. I don't know if I said that I have five kids and all my oldest is almost 19. Then I have 16, 14, 11, almost 12 and an almost five year old. So, so luckily I have teen girls who will cook this week for me. And, but I know y'all have got those. I mean, I was prepping all weekend, making sure the menu is set, making sure everybody had what they needed and everything was done before this morning. Cause I said, it's boot camp day. And they just look at me like I'm crazy. They really do just look at me like I'm crazy. A lot of times they're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, if I yeah, five kids. I mean, I'm, I never planned to have five. I always wanted four, but I wanted three boys and one girl. I got, I got one boy and four girls, and they are the. I, I really God knew what I needed. I love my girls. I love my boy. My boy loves me. Um, I had him doing some errands this morning and um doing some stuff. Look, I'm the mean homeschool mama. My girls are doing research paper class this summer so he took them to they're a friend across around the corner who homeschools and teaches at university and she's teaching them how to write a research paper so i'm even doing it but we're going to talk about outsourcing this week because it's totally an option but anyway i will see y'all at 12. <laughs>